Hey guys, welcome back to Friday Emblem. Good to see you guys. Good to see all y'all. Uh, <laughs> a lot earlier this morning, I, I do admit it's 10.34 for me right now. Uh, I had to make it this early because uh, my schedule's really hard right now to deal with. And yeah, this was really the only place I could fit Fire Emblem today. But I do really want to finish Three Hopes. We're pretty much on the last levels, I'm pretty sure. And it'd be cool to wrap up uh, Friday Emblem before uh, some other big games come out. Like, I wanted to do Splatoon this weekend. I don't think I'm going to be able to do Splatoon. I'll probably shoot for that next weekend uh, because of Splatfest and then do an Animal Crossing stream tomorrow. So let's see how it all goes. Let's see how it all goes. Um, let's see who's here. Baron Beauty, work I must. I only pray that you have Marianne summon Dorte at least once in the final brawl. The broest of bros. Sure, I could see about bringing Marianne. Sure. I think. Wait, is this... Yeah. Yeah, we were in Zaharas last time, which, oh my god, that's a that's a cliffhanger. Yeah, because we're here, right? Yeah, yeah. We're trapped here. Baron Beauty, also by the power invested in me, in me as Baron, I command all thee who gaze upon this stream or future videos to like it. Failure to do so will be unfavorable to you. Thank you, Baron Beauty. Thank you for threatening people to like the video. Thank you. <laughs> Adam, hi. Hey, Adam. How you doing today? Jenny, hello, everyone. Hey, Jenny. Really early for a stream. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> but thanks for turning out. Uh, really appreciate it. It's going to be exciting today. Wait, early morning mission, sir? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this... This really should be one of the only times this should happen, at least this early. I really hope for the future, once we get everything all situated and such, there's going to be no more of this. So, uh, yeah. I wonder if I need to turn up a little bit. Let's see, how does that sound? Oh, I'm like, woo! Okay, I think I should be good with that. I think so. Okay, cool. Jenny, I'm sad it's ending, but it's for the best. For, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, we've been on three hopes for a while, so yeah, I think it's I think it's good. Ooh, huh? what is this thing? I'm sensing some kind of weird power coming from it. Desperate times call for desperate measures. We need to use everything we can get our hands on. Oh yeah, I think that's how we could gather supplies and such. Let's see what they all say. I'm at a loss here. What do you think, Phoebe? Any flashes of inspiration about where we no, are? Actually, I have a feeling I already know the answer. Oh boy, things are not looking up. Worry. Eh, don't worry, Claude. Try not to worry. I'm sure we'll find a way out if we work together. Oh boy. I hope you're right, because even I don't know what to do here. I'm sure our friends are worried about our little disappearing act. We need to get back as soon as possible. On the bright side, we're trapped with the two most stubborn people on the planet. I'm sure we could get through this if we work together. Yeah, that's that's pretty accurate, I'd say. I wonder. It is strange to fight alongside those who would otherwise be my mortal enemies. However, we have no choice but to cooperate. I shall do whatever I can to help. Oh, I'm happy to be working together with you on, with you, Dimitri. It's actually nice having a formidable foe on our side, even if it's temporary. Yes, we have a truce, even until we can make our escape, so I am at your service. I'm quite skilled at anything requiring physical strength. Oh, oh yeah, that's an understatement. <laughs> I must return to my compatriots as soon as possible. Let us see what we can find around here. <gasps> oh, Claude and Edelgard are talking. Ooh, Can't tell if it's a pleasant one or not. Wade, bring back Radiant Dawn. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, when this is over, I'm pro uh, I could bring back Friday Emblem in earnest. Uh, I don't know if I'll jump to Emerald, though. I'm, like, debating it right now. Darth Fastball 11. Hi, Trigo. Hi, Darth Fastball. How you doing today? I have to say, this isn't how I imagined Fodlin's three most powerful leaders would be coming together. <laughs> it's quite the summit. Indeed. I hesitate to even consider the look on Hubert's face right now. He would be having a heart attack. I don't think anyone's too worried about me, though. Vanishing without a word is kind of what I do. Even now that I'm the king of the Federation, it looks like I'm as unreliable as ever. Or perhaps it's the opposite, and your people think you're reliable precisely because you always return. Hmm. It must be nice having friends you can depend on to handle important matters in your absence. And it must feel lousy to realize no one wants to do your job, Edelgard. 
I'm glad to see your tongue remains as agile as ever. Let's try moving our feet instead, shall we? <laughs> hey, I can do both if you want. It's definitely not an either or kind of situation. So, Edelgard, say the four of us get out of here in one piece. What are you planning to do about Dimitri? Maybe we should join forces and take him on together. I thought that's what you were already doing. You're such a bore sometimes, Claude. And is that a serious proposal? Hmm. Well, I suppose it would be easier for me if the kingdom stuck around. Yes, it would. After all, I get the feeling that if we divide Fodlin between the Empire and the Federation, I'll be the one holding the short end of that stick. Our goal is to deal with Rhea and the Central Church, not to unify Fodlin. You never have been one to mince words, have you? Well then, allow me to match your honesty. It would be more convenient for me if the kingdom ceased to exist. Yeah, of course it would, Edelgard. The Central Guard. Church has a much closer relationship with Fargus than with the other regions. Even were we to capture the Archbishop and force her to dismantle the upper echelons of the church, it wouldn't be enough. The roots of that organization run deep. Hey, hold on. You're just looking to capture Rhea? You're not gonna, you know, get rid of her? Yeah, this is kind of a shock to me as well. Is it not enough to subdue a foe and remove them from power? I'm just surprised. I would have expected you to be more thorough. Yeah, she's kind of decimating the land right now. You wanted to pursue a peaceful solution. You guys like swapped ideals. Hey, give me some credit. If I didn't like to rock the boat, Lester would have been swallowed up by the Empire ages ago. I have ambitions, Edelgard. Real ones. I won't go into details, but... I'm definitely fighting to make them a reality. Uh, he's always so vague. All that, and you're not planning to enlighten me? Unreliable and stingy. Oh my gosh. I, for one, have no qualms with telling you my ambitions. I seek to destroy the irrational power structure that shackles Fodlin. Just Fodlin, huh? Come again? Hey, don't get me wrong. That's a goal I can get behind. That's why we're working together. But I'd be grateful if my own ambitions can be fulfilled at the end of your path of conquest. <laughs> I'd like to believe that is possible. At least for now, we can work together to achieve a common goal. And perhaps someday, our pact will become a more permanent one. I hope so, at any rate. Same here. But before that, we need to find a way out of this place. Huh. Very interesting conversation between the two of them. Interesting. What a terrible predicament we're in. I wonder what would happen if we never escaped. Claude isn't hiding anything from me, is he? I find him hard to trust entirely. Uh, ha ha, ha 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 Yeah, he has a real hard time getting people to trust him. But honestly, I think we'll be fine. Oh, I get the feeling you laugh because you know what he's capable of. But no matter, I suppose. For now, let us explore this area and see if we can find any clues. <laughs> oh, Claude and Dimitri are gonna talk! Oh, man. Darth Fastball 11. I'm good. I'm at work and was listening to some... Hegel? Lol? Sorry, I don't know. Uh, the most fun way to spend a Friday. <laughs> How about you? I'm doing pretty pretty good myself. It's been very busy uh, because our house just, like, closed. So we have to, like, get everything out as soon as possible. Yeah, yesterday I pretty much spent, like, all day just, like, lifting heavy stuff off, like, a trailer. And, oh, man. It was, uh... It was tiring for sure. It's completely thrown a monkey wrench into my schedule too, because I have like my little schedule of like uh, diet and exercise and that stuff, and I'm just like, no, I need energy. Eat. Oh no, I can't exercise because I can't be tired for when I have to move. Oof. So I really hope it's uh, it goes smoothly and and the worst are the worst is behind us right now. So yeah, that's the reason why this is happening so early is because um, we have more stuff to move later on top of work. So busy, busy. Yay, Claude and Dimitri. Dimitri, we need to talk. Yes, we do. I'm just going to come out and say it. After the war, I'm going to abolish the Central Church and depose the Archbishop. The people of Fodland have been shackled by this decrepit system for too long, and I'm ending it. You're going to do away with the Church? That's right. Think about it. Who steals your freedom and gives you an endless list of duties and obligations simply because you have a crest? Who forces you and your friends into a bunch of unwanted marriages and positions of power? 
Hmm. The church even forbids any official contact with outside regions. Not exactly great for Fargus, right? Being as close to Serang and Albinia as you are. But to be clear, your quarrel is with the church, yes? Not with Fargus itself? Exactly. We have nothing to gain by fighting you. Yeah, you have nothing to gain. And really, our enemy isn't the actual church so much as the people at the top who make all the decisions. I understand where you're coming from, Claude. And on a personal level, I actually agree with you. <laughs> but as a king, you're opposed. Yes, for three reasons. First, abolishing the church would deny the king's right to rule Fargus. Without one, the people will descend into chaos and war. Would you be able to take responsibility for such a thing once it came to pass? Second, recklessly discarding the church will only incite discord among the clergy and its supporters. Discord's not too bad, though. And finally, I can't. <laughs> a revolution of this nature will not only mean casualties among the common folk, but will endanger your own life as well. Leaving the first two for a second, I have some serious issues with that last one. It seems like Dimitri's the only one who's, like, thinking rationally between the three of them. Because they, they, Edelgard and Claude kind of have their own ideals and dreams, and... They're very much like, yeah, it'll just work out. While Dimitri's like, no, you can't just do whatever you want. It, it's kind of ironic because of the three, he's literally, like, mentally ill. <laughs> but he ha he's the most rational. It's very it's a very fascinating dynamic. I'm glad you're concerned for my safety, but I can take care of myself. But don't you see? The people you wish to depose are human, just as you are. No matter what ingenious scheme you come up with, or how careful you try to be, they will suffer, and their vengeance will eventually find you, no matter how hard you try to stave it off. I know full well the guilt that accompanies such actions, and the retribution they provoke. Everyone has to deal with the consequences of their decisions. If you let it rule you, Fodlin never changes. And if it doesn't change, it'll just fall apart. But not taking the time to look where you're going will only lead you to stumble and fall. And if there are those who would be hurt by this, I consider it my duty to help them. <laughs> there you go, trying to save everyone again. You really are too good for me. <laughs> to be honest, I'm jealous of how you're not burdened with the same restrictions. In the world I'm trying to create, you wouldn't be burdened by them either. You could even... No, forget that. I'm serious about what I said, though. And I really do admire how you want to save everyone. Honestly, if you weren't a king, I think we could have been friends. Oh, that stings. I feel much the same. Oh. Had I joined with you, I might have been able to see a different vision of Fodlan. Oh, that stings. You guys... I mean... I guess I'm- oh, don't- don't even right now. Don't even right now. Okay, I don't know how that screwed up the capture. <sighs> Nothing can ever go right. Alright, let me, uh, put it back. Sorry, it's gonna get loud for a second, so brace yourselves. Okay. Let me put the audio back real quick. There we are. Okay. And let me fix the screen. Okay, it's a bit hard to see because everything's really dark. <sighs> Alright, does that work? Okay, cool. I think I got it. Alright, and then throw Bonsley back up. Cool, cool, cool. <sighs> okay, and then the audio should be good. Yeah, it should be good still. Chico Thief. Sometimes the background music here reminds me of stuff from Elgar Solid 3. Really? Is it like when they're having a conversation or is it like in this general area? Like right now? Right now it kind of reminds me of Kingdom Hearts a lot. Alexa, hey! Hey Alexa! Hope you're doing all good, Alexa. I'm just gonna listen and lurk while I play Salmon Run, but I wanted to be around for this last Friday emblem. Okay, cool, cool. I really appreciate it. Still going through the motions and hope all is well, everyone. Thanks, Alexa. Hope all is well with you. Hope uh, Salmon Run's going good, too. I tried playing it yesterday because, uh, oh my god, I was, like, playing Splatoon uh, after a long day work. 
and I just went to mass uh, to matches and just got absolutely like throttled and I was like oh my god it's just not my day today so I go to salmon run because you know you always win in salmon run and what the heck it was really hard yesterday it was like the smallest map and it was like the hardest enemies and I just could not win and I'm just like all right I just don't think today's a good day for splat 2 <laughs> so I wonder if it's a little bit easier today salmon run is no joke sometimes all right, let's see. Uh, I think we're good to embark. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I definitely use Salmon Run as kind of like my uh, my chill out playing Splatoon stuff. Like I'll turn on a podcast or a video and just listen to it. Matches though, I try not to have distractions. Can't tell forward from back in here. Let's try over that way, maybe. Good idea. It seems different from the rest of the void. Everywhere else seems very voidy and dark. Oh, hey, Joshua Sturt. Hi, Bonsley. <laughs> Unfortunately, Bonsley is too petrified to speak, as Bonsley always is. Oh, shoot. So it failed. Has my skill degraded that sharply over the years? Arval, I have been searching for you. Oh, man, look at that weird crown of his. And look what you brought me. The three who fancy themselves sovereigns, oh. ruling over that abomination's wretched spawn. Yeah. Dang, when you put it like that, oof. I mean, geez, if these... If the three leaders of the nation just disappeared overnight, oh my god, that would, like, destroy Fodlin. What unexpected luck. I do hope you are all prepared to face death this day. So this is Arvel, is it? Uh-oh. Undo this sorcery and return us from whence we came, demon. Oh, I do not think that will be happening. But even if I desire to accede to your wishes, the great forbidden spell of Zaharas is a one-way journey. Huh. None can escape this eternal darkness. Unless you join Smash. I vote we kill this thing and see what happens. <laughs> Who's with me? Yeah, I I'm in. Something tells me they wouldn't lay this trap, only to suffer the same fate as us. If this being can free themselves from this void, it stands to reason that so too can we. Oh, man. Then try cutting me down if you like. Sadly, what you see before you is but an illusion. I have a task to fulfill, and once it is accomplished, I shall leave this place alone. Arvel, wait! What task are you talking about? Why did you use me? What are you trying to do here? Oh, the voice acting's going hard right now. Ah, but you are mistaken. I am not Arval. Oh. My name is Epimenides. Ooh. An ordinary man who vowed to kill the beast which set the earth ablaze. An ordinary man? You don't look very ordinary to me. Do you not comprehend my purpose? I must save this world and its true people. Classic Agarthan. That is why I chose to pass my consciousness down through the ages. And you, you are the vessel for that consciousness. Hmm. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, Ooh, that's hype. Okay, uh, how are we doing on inventory? Okay, so Phoebe... wonder if I should give her something different from Arvel's power. Because it kind of doesn't make sense. I wonder if I have anything in here. Golden Fist, Radiant Love. Solar Prominence? Yeah, sure, why not? It's it's roleplay reasons. Immortal Core. Uh, anything we want to give to Claude? Apparently, he loves that shield, so... Maybe a Swift Speed Ring. Lightning speed, act. Ooh, that's even better. Okay. Let's see. Oh man, so I. <gasps> okay, wait. Let me. Let me see. Let's see, Darth Fastball Eleven. Ooh, what podcast have you been listening to? I've been listening to a lot of uh, Trash Taste recently with uh, Giguk and the Anime Man and Sea Dog VA. It's a really good podcast. I, re I really like it actually. 
Alexa, yeah, it's been a good distraction since Tuesday. And yeah, having someone talk in the background is helping until my parents get home from work. I get ya, I get ya. Well, hope, uh, hope I can entertain today for sure. I don't know what's going on, but I do know whoever that is oh. needs to be stopped. No problem, <laughs> I got it. And how far? <gasps> Yay! Will you cut down your own friends to reach me? Oh, good lord, I haven't played this in forever. Oh! Oh man, look at him. Da, 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 da. Okay, well, I hate to play as just Dimitri, but here we go. It must be a double. Oh man. Give him Dimitri. Oh man. Why are you consorting with the enemy? Oh man. I forgot how much I missed him. This is a deception. Oh man. No, don't do this. Oh man. I, can't me. I don't think that's Hilda. I mean, how do we know for sure they're not real? Cuz they're attacking us? Oh man. Okay, let's switch to Edelgard. Let's try to be equal here. From the of oh man. Why you gotta do us like that? Flickering flower? Oh man. Let's get it, get it. Uh. Oh man. Shooting fire from her axe. Okay, let's switch to Claude. Oh man. <laughs> it's so hectic. Okay, uh, Fallen Star. There we are. Oh, man. Nice work, Claude. Boom! Wait, do we beat him? Oh, nice. Good luck, everyone. Are we being warped away? No. Space itself is distorting around us. Oh man. Oh shoot. Oh god, the music's so good. This place is so twisted, you can't even tell where you are. Aren't you sad for your comrades, you murderers? There it is. There is your rage. Oh. Arvel's gotta be talking. Oh! Oh man! Now I know those guys aren't real. I can spot one thing, but how do I tell which Edelgard and Dimitri are on my side? Come on, Dimitri. Perhaps each of us Let's go. On their own double to Let's go. Oh, man. Oh. Nice. Thanks, Dimitri. I owe you one. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. So I guess they're all fighting uh, their clones or whatever. This darkness is a mirror for the soul, and once a soul is imprisoned here, it is eternally severed. Oh my God, the music's going so hard. Just imagine how much easier our task will be with the two of us. <laughs> a nice thought, yes, but I'm sad to say I failed to trust even myself. Oh, dang! Why are you helping the emperor, wretch? You mourn your friends. Avenge them. It's a blessing I get to face you. There is truly no one I more desire to end. Oh, shoot. Stop playing the kind soul. Everything we've ever wanted is before us. Right for the taking. If you're really me, then you already know why I'm doing this. <laughs> I don't like leaving my fate up to luck. It's really weird to see them in, like, objectively evil mode. Boom! I got... <laughs> Why are you... Should we talk? <laughs> Why? Why are you just like, yes, I get to kill myself? Fallen Star! Okay, fine. I'll get on my dragon. Let's go. 
Your Barbarossa isn't as good as my Barbarossa. I got, I got, oh, nice. Boom. <laughs> Is that a yellow thing? I feel thing? like I just slew my twin brother. Uh, <laughs> compared to you killing your brother earlier in the game. At least now we're certain they're not real. Can cut them down without mercy. Well, that's good. Question mark. Again? Please tell me we're gonna find that guy this time. It's weird to see base captains in here. I, I don't really, uh... <laughs> I don't really understand how that works. Let's get searching. Okay, yeah, oh, where are we? You four are a marvel. To think you are places. already adapting to this place. Have amenities. Oh, There he is. Now have the grace to lay down your lives and let the world you've torn apart heal. Oh man. Not if we could stop you. Here we go. Ah, there you are. My partner in destiny. Oh, my partner in destiny. You're not Arvon. And even if you were, I'd fight you all the same. Alright, let's go. You and me. You were my friend, Arvel. Why are you doing this to me? Destroy me will achieve nothing, for you will all still be trapped in this place. Unfortunate, but you are forcing my hand. Oh! That's not her barrier. Oh! Phoebe and Byleth? Okay. Here we go. Okay, so there's... Oh! There's Byleth. This is going to take all of us. Time to put our differences aside. Sorry, Byleth. We were friends. Let's see how they're doing. Alright. Let's go. Boom. Ooh, nice. I'll probably do another one. Let's go, Edelgard. Oh man. Why does it have to be you? I don't want to fight you. Oh man. Where's Byleth? Oh, there. Oh man. All right, ultimate ready. Boom. It seems I'm forced to do this myself. So be it. Come at me if you dare. Okay, let's go. You and me. Let's go. Our adversary has finally run out of tricks. Time to finish this. Ah. Uh. Get up, amenities. It's you and me. Oh, can we beat you with an ultimate? Oh, man. Yeah. Take that. Oh, it's over, bro. We beat ya. Oh man, cutscene. Be gone with you. Ooh. The cycle of this world must be protected. Oh. Oh, jeez. Whoa. You fool. Why must you resist me so? You know my reason. The tomorrow we're fighting for. Oh. It's our 
Oh man. Oh. It's incredible. Just how strong you've become. Orval. You have grown more than I ever thought possible. And yet. Oh, that. Oh. I've never felt more alone. Uh. Oh, my God, that was harsh. I don't know how we still have Arvel's power, that kind of doesn't make sense, but... Oh my gosh. Whew! <laughs> Trico Thief Liquid, it's not over yet. Oh, that would be that'd be a twist, just fist fight Arvel in the end. Oh, I got Blood Gang for that? Oh, sweet. More fighting. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, that's, that's Mary Ann's sword, huh. I mean, she can't really use it unless I make her that class, which I'm not going to do, because if I use the ultimate, uh, Dorte won't be used, Looks so. Like we made it out in one piece. Are you sure about that? I still have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Claude speaking for most of us. <laughs> All right, let me do the chat real quick. Darth Fastball 11. Ooh, nice. I've been listening to a podcast call, and there's your problem, which is about engineering uh, negligence. Negligence? Wait, why... I know this word. Why am I messing it up this morning? Don't judge me. And social murder. Okay. I know this sounds very obscure and uh, abstract, but it's really interesting and sad learning about the bungling of civil projects, sometimes to the direct harm of the underprivileged. Yeah, dang. Sounds intense. Oof. Trico Thief, they get close to you and then they take everything from you. Oh, man. Zodu, I just joined and I'm very confused. Just like Claude. <laughs> yeah, we had, to, we had to beat up Arvel. Sorry, Arvel. He was evil, you see. Yeah, Jenny's reaction was my own, <laughs> for sure. Let's see. Yeah, geez. Oof, that hurt. No more Arvel, man. Arvel, or Epimenides, I suppose, has vanished, and we've been returned to where we started. Hmm. Perhaps we should just consider this a victory. An ironic one, as we achieved it by working together. That is certainly ironic. Fair enough. So, what happens now? I can't speak for Edelgard, but I'm not exactly itching to fight you. Oh! Whatever's in store for us, let's say we just call a truce for now. Truce I forever? I have been able to return here had it not been for your assistance, as well as Claude's. Letting you walk away may not be the soundest of tactics, but at this point I see no other option. Bruh, Dimitri could crim you. Agreed. Let's consider all debts paid. But just to be clear, I crushed you once, and I can do so again. <laughs> sure, yeah. Right. I gotta admit, I never saw any of this coming. In truth, I can't say I much expected any of this. Still, it got us talking again, and that's gotta be worth something. Oh, yeah, could it end peacefully, please? Well, I should be off. I hope we can do this again sometime. Uh, the speaking part, anyway. In that case, I will depart as well. I'm sure everyone must be quite concerned for me by now. See you both on the other side of this war. Well, my friend, are you ready to get out of here? I am. We still have one more enemy to deal with before all of this can end. Archbishop Rhea awaits. Oh, dang, we're actually going for her. Okay, that's, uh... Whew. Well, good luck to us. Wait, this is the first time I heard you Golden say, unironically say, bruh. <laughs> I didn't even catch that, I said it. The Federation successfully aids the Imperial Army. Peace. Together, they pursue the kingdom and church forces. However, Claude's sole aim is to eliminate Archbishop Rhea. Peace. While Edelgard contends with the royal army. Claude and his forces go after the church. In their pursuit, they arrive at the Teen Plains, where Seros and Nemesis battled long ago. Huh.
It's not much further to Kingdom territory. Once we've crossed the border, we'll march through the Tailteen Plains and make our way to Ferdiad. The Plains of Tailteen are the largest in all of Fargus. As I recall, they're also where a well-known battle took place long ago. We're going by land instead of sea this time, huh? Mm. I have to admit, I prefer it this way. We may have taken a wild little detour, but we're finally back to marching on the Kingdom capital. Claude, are you sure it would not be prudent to ask the Imperial Army for assistance? They certainly owe us after that last battle. The Imperial Army changed course to travel west, and Edelgard went after them. They're well on their way to Aryan Road. Most of the Kingdom's forces have gathered in the west as well. Rhea and her troops are the only ones who fled north. I don't get it. Sure, it makes sense for the Kingdom to reinforce their position on the Western Front. They're losing ground there, after all. But is the King of Fargus really abandoning the defense of his capital city and the church? I can't claim to know what his intentions are, but I suspect Dimitri has decided to leave the rest to me. Uh, wow, he's just letting you do What's it? What's that supposed to mean? What in the world could the king yeah. of enemy territory trust you with? I think I get it. Dimitri is counting on Claude. To dissolve the central the church? The central church is just a millstone around the kingdom's neck at this point. Dimitri's probably hoping Claude will cut him loose. Wow, that's that's a change. Are you suggesting that the king wishes to avoid formally cutting ties with the central church and is therefore using us to bring about its demise? Wow. I have heard that the central church aided the kingdom when civil war broke out. Dang. Perhaps Dimitri feels indebted to the archbishop and his knightly values demand he not oppose her directly. But that's No. I suppose this is the nature of war. I'm surprised Dimitri would look the other way. There's more to it than that. The kingdom and the church have a long history full of reasons why the king can't betray them. Long ago, the hero Lug von Blaifid cut down the Adrestian emperor of his day. Huh. In fact, their battle took place on the tail team plains, which we're just about to cross. The church mediated the conflict and recognized House Blaifid's independence leading to the founding of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. As you might have guessed, that's how they got the holy bit in their name. <laughs> so essentially, abandoning the church would mean turning their back on the very group to whom they owe their independence. And that's why Dimitri wants the fledgling Leicester Federation to do his dirty work and abolish the church in his stead. Well, it works for us. That's my guess, anyway. But his reasons are immaterial, since getting rid of the church is what we've been after all along. For the sake of our future and the free world to come, we'll tear down the central church and put an end to Rhea. You can count on it. And if they run off to Ferdiad, we'll just have to conquer the capital to get to them. That's the spirit. You know, kid, you've really become someone we can depend on. And now, your majesty, we await your official order. You got it, Judith. It's time to fling open the doors to a whole new era. All forces... Oh, I got it for once. Yay. <laughs> Gotta get that pointing animation. Oh, man. Zelda, what's Splatfest team y'all picking? Um, I'll... Oh, man, really? Interesting. Um, what Splatfest team am I picking? I'm probably just gonna go with whatever you guys decide as a majority, just so I'm able to play with you guys for Splatfest. Uh, but if I had to pick personally... Let's see, it's gear, grub, or food. Or no, gear, grub, or fun. Hmm. That one's a hard one. The thing is, I do think grub can only take you so far. Because if you bring grub, then... It's going to run out, and you need to... I mean, it's a good way to get you started on trying to gather your own food, but... Hmm, I wouldn't go for grub. Gear? I might go gear. Yeah, actually, I think gear would make the most sense. I mean, fun, yeah, I do think it's important to maintain morale, but... I also think sometimes you're able to just, you know... You know... <laughs> either make your own fun, or it's just not a priority. Uh, yeah, I think I am settling on gear as well, yeah. Because you can always use gear. We always use gear in real life, so I could, I could see gear, you know. 
Yeah, it seems like Alexa and Zelda Wii are picking gear as well, so... Good decision, good decision. I have a proposal. Okay. Cool. Now I'm gonna give Claude the golden whistle, because we're nearing the end of the game, so... I can't hear Arvel anymore. Oh, man. I'm coming... Wait, everything's coming to a head. I got a feeling this battle will be the next one. I gotta give this Merc whistle to someone while I still got the chance. Oh, interesting. I've never heard her say that. Or, uh, Shez say that. Oh, yeah, Arvel is gone. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, because I usually give the Merc whistle to someone by now, but I can't decide on who to give it to in this playthrough. I'm definitely just gonna give it to Claude, though. I think it's a fa I think it's a safe decision. Everything has its okay. use. Is this guy T-posing? He looks weird. What did you why, need? Why are you standing like that? I'm not spying, I assure you. I simply report what I've seen. Okay, uh, let's go find Claude. Look who it is. How's that? We're finally approaching the end of the war. You going to be okay, Phoebe? No, no, I'm not worried you'll attack one of our allies again, really. But that Arvel it being is gone now, right? Yeah. Right I'll be fine, I can still fight. Well, I trust you. Just tell me immediately if anything feels off. Thanks to you, I, did, I had a chance to speak with Edelgard and Dimitri directly. What happens next is up to them. We've got our own fight One to finish. We shall merge victorious and usher in a new era. Alrighty. Let's give you that mark whistle. Oh, I'm not A rank? Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Where do we stand with each other, Claude? Oh, pr Oh, shoot! We can't- we can't? Oh man, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh my goodness. Uh... Yeah, we're, we're not really A-rank with anyone. Let's see, yeah, because Claude we can't deepen anymore, which that surprises me. I'm surprised you can't do it last minute. Hilda... Marianne. I, I mean, I technically can do Marianne. I think she has, like, cool ice moves, which could be neat. One sec. Okay, I'll just spam Marianne right now. Yeah, that's surprising. What a wonderful meal. I just got screwed on that, yeah. Wow. Alright, you and me, Marianne. Not Leone! <laughs> Darn it. Hey, you got a minute? No, I don't. Oh man. I gotta make sure I go back and re-listen to these. Oh hello. Oh hello, Marianne. Okay, now let's go talk to her. Alrighty, Marianne. What do you what do you give? Let me see. Wait, I get, wait, what? I don't think Lady Ray and the Knights will go to Ferdiad. I get the feeling they'll want to fight on the Tail Team planes. Why? Uh -huh. um, They'd be at a disadvantage in an enclosed space with no reinforcements. And there's another reason, too. St. Sarah's vanquished Nemesis, the King of Liberation, on the Tail Team planes long ago. If they restage that battle, the Central Church can once again display their authority over all of Fodlan. That's what I imagine Lady Rey is thinking, at least, but it's only a guess. I would also prefer to fight in the planes if possible. I don't want any towns to get drawn into our battle. Fair enough. Alright, here's your Merc Whistle. This gift is unique, you won't receive another one. Why would you want to give me something so precious? Because you're precious. And I don't know if this is an equal exchange, but here. It's something I've treasured. Aw, fancy handkerchief. Thank you, Marianne. I think I'll put it on now. Snow slip. Okay, yeah, so it is like an ice ability thing. Interesting. All right, maybe I'll switch to Mortal Savant. Okay, cool. Uh. Okay, who do we want to talk to? Let's talk to Gatekeeper, because <laughs> we always have to talk to him. There we are. Hey, Gatekeeper. Greetings, friend. Greetings, Commander. Nothing to report. Listen to this. I was able to see my little brother Garrick Mock, and he's doing well. I was so glad I wasn't on I'm so I was so glad he wasn't on the enemy side. I wish we I wish we wished each other the best and then we went our separate ways. Why was that so hard to say? Gosh, I can't wait for this war to be over. Then everyone will be able to laugh together again, no matter where they're from. Well, let's hope, right? 
Okay. Let's see, who do we want to talk to? Probably Byleth and Geralt, yeah. Wait, what if it's like vegetables and you can plant them and grow more vegetables to eat? That's a... Oh, if that's the case, I might switch to Grub. If it's like a way to get infinite food, then yeah. Vegetables take a while to grow, though. Oh, well, that's a good point as well. Yeah, they either take too long to grow and you'll die of starvation before they're grown, or there's more food on the island that you can collect. So either way, it's either the only choice or a good choice, I'd say. Excuse me. It's hey, see you again. I'm glad you and Claude made it back unharmed. I was so confused when you got caught up in that strange magic and vanished. I'm sorry for attacking you. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I can't believe I attacked you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I knew you weren't in control of yourself. Oh, oh my god. I just love how Byleth's like, it's alright, fam. <laughs> Very Byleth of her. Aiden VK, sup? Sup, Aiden? How you doing? Wait, I miss when Soren used to give us our uh, battle summary reports. Yeah, good old Soren. I do love him. He is good. Wish he was a better unit, but he's pretty good. I'll tell you, Lady Rhea is the last person in the world I wanted to see. I owe her a great debt, but our relationship is more complicated than that. I wanted to turn my back on it all, so I ran away. Despite that, here I am again. All I can do now is see how things play out. It's time to end this. Okay. Well, I mean, you're thinking of it the right way, I think, Geralt. Hey, Hilda. Hey, Phoebe, I heard you were having some trouble. Is everything okay now? All that's left is to take down Lady Rhea. I really hope that we that will end the war for good. Oh, it will. No one wants the war to go on any longer than it has to. I'm sure it'll end once we take take out the person causing it. I know Lady Ray and the Church are the only re are the reason for all this, but I do feel kind of sorry for them. Anyway, first things first. We got a battle to win. Let's do this. Good attitude from Hilda. I'm trying to remember if there's anything else. I think we're good to go. Yeah. I'll probably step away once the next cutscene starts for a little bit. I need to go refill my water. Yeah, that's over right. Okay. And then... Okay, we gotta get there. Alright, let's go. Yeah, and then here comes the cutscene. Always happens when the first battle happens. Your Majesty, I am glad to see that you are safe. Oh, this is gonna pull up my heart strengths. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back, guys.
Hey, uh, sorry for the wait. Uh, I ended up grabbing some coffee. <laughs> uh, and I ended up spilling it, which is cool, of course. I don't know what it is. Coffee is like the most spillable substance on the planet. Like, it's so weird. I don't know what it is. I know it's like just me, because there's no way it could be more spillable than water. But it seems like whenever I like tilt the cup slightly, it's just like, you know. <sighs> Wait, refill water from where? <laughs> from my refrigerator. I mean, uh, the Trico refrigerator. I, I, I gotta be in, in character. <laughs> oh, hey, Gustav. I am fine, Gustav. My apologies for worrying you. What is your report on the situation in the West? For the moment, we are holding the line against the Empire's offensive. The news that your majesty has arrived at the Silver Maiden will do wonders for the soldiers' morale. Yeah, that would be nice. Unfortunately, the same can be said for our enemy. The Emperor pursued me here, and should be joining her forces at the front. But no matter how high the enemy's morale, they will not find Aryan Road an easy prize to take. In that case, perhaps our concern should lie with Lady Rhea and the Knights of Seros. Hm. Ah, yes. The Kingdom Army parted with them to deal with the Imperial forces here in the West. I have heard nothing of their fate since. Were they able to reach Camulus safely? No, your majesty. They have stopped in the northern region of the Teltine Plains to prepare for battle. They intend to meet the Federation army there? It is likely huh. they determined that with the Kingdom army unable to leave the Western Front, they would not be able to withstand a siege at Camulus. They have assessed the situation correctly then. The Kingdom army cannot spare enough troops to break a siege at this moment. But if Camulus is taken, Ferdiad itself may well fall to the forces of Leicester. To prepare for that, it's so sad. <laughs> I have ordered our citizens in the capital and the surrounding area to evacuate to Gautier territory. But does Claude truly wish to destroy Fargus? <sighs> Somehow I doubt it. I mean, we could trust him not to destroy Fargus, I think. Your Majesty, a message from Duke Faldarius. The Imperial Army seems to be taking more aggressive action. If you would like you to brief the commanders on the current state of the war. Understood. I will be there shortly. But your majesty, what of the central church? Gustav, we will do what must be done to safeguard our people. Oh. No matter how great the cost. Were we to bow down to the empire and accept the southern church, Fargus would fall to ruin. A great many of our people would die. However, the Federation has shown us a way to... Avoid such a terrible fate. Then there is truly no other way. We are deeply indebted to the Central Church. <sighs> Yet it is a debt that I cannot repay. I will gladly accept whatever punishment I must. If it means saving even one more of my people's lives, then as the King of Fargus, no sacrifice is too great. <laughs> Forgive me, Gustav. Your Majesty, if this is the path you have chosen, then I will walk it with you until the very end. The heartstrings. Uh. <laughs> okay, let's grab these real quick. Uh, ooh, Mithril. Ooh. Um. Mailing haste makes waste, Trico. It's true. It's true. I will admit, part of it, part of me was hasty for sure. Though the cup was already filled technically, so I don't. <laughs> that that was also a thing. Oh man. How about the uh, sure, Lysithia, why not? We'll listen to you. Aiden VK, what Splatfest teams are you guys gonna be on? Uh I'm on Entertainment. No, oh man, I didn't want to do that. Um Yeah, go back. I think, uh, we've all settled on gear, actually. I've settled on gear, um, and it seems like Zelda's... It, Zelda's in favor of gear. I think it was Alexa's favoring gear as well, yeah. I I had to pick the boring one. <laughs> Where I'm like, yeah, fun would be more, uh, interesting, but... I also think I'm the kind of person I feel like can make my own fun, I think. I hope. Mm -hmm. I just can't, in good conscience, uh, pick food because I think food is finite and 
like, if it's infinite, if it's infinite food, then obviously food would be what I pick. But... Well, that, that was kind of weird. Yeah, food would be what I pick. But the island has to have a way to make food, so... I don't know. I don't think it's as valuable as you think it would be. Alrighty, let's go. Let's do this. Is this the final mission? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, they straight up said it was the final mission. Let's go, the Battle of Teltine. Let's go. Darth Festival 11. There's definitely a science I could go into spill ability, such as... Visa... Visa... Visodity? Visity? Vi How do you say that? Surface tension and cohesion. Okay. Water has pretty hey high guys, cohesion. The Federation army is approaching from the south. Water has pretty high cohesion relative to how non-vicious it is. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, it's interesting because I... um. I wouldn't say I just learned about surface tension, but I watched the uh, Stardust Crusaders recently, and there's, like, that bet that they do with the water, and, like, it's, like, kind of coming out of the cup a little bit, and then they bring it up. It's like, oh, yeah, the surface tension, like, keeps it together, so it's, like, important not to break it. It's very fascinating. Aiden, please, Trico, team fun. I'm sorry, Aiden. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> uh... That being said, for next weekend when we stream Splatfest, I'm just going to go for what the majority pick. So, yeah, that's what I'll be doing. Darth Fastball 11, Team Gear. Okay. Diglett's picking Team Gear as well. Okay, okay. Okay. Darth Fastball 11. It's pronounced vi Viscus. Viscus. Okay. And then Wade, Viscus it <laughs> I feel bad when I can't pronounce stuff on stream. I feel like such a fool. Dame Dane, I feel like such a fool. Jenny, if I had Splatoon, I would pick food. Oh, Team Grub. I... Actually, I think you're the only one I know that picked that picked Team Grub currently. Which is funny, because like, in a way, it's like the most logical pick, you know? King Claude appears to be commanding them personally. Uh -oh. The rebellious blood of those wretched ten elites has led one of their descendants to turn his blade against us. Rhea's gonna be mad. Perhaps it was a mistake not to have terminated their bloodlines long ago. Mm. Your grace? Lady Rhea, with the Kingdom Army occupied on the Western Front, we will have little in the way of support from them. I believe the wisest course of action would be to retreat to Ferdiad and attempt to hold the palace there. No. We will face them here, long before the kingdom even existed. Saint Sero slew the fell king Nemesis upon this very soil. Who I wish was in the game. This field is a sacred place for the Church of Seros. We will have the goddess's protection here. Oh Indeed. man. But you have nothing to worry about, Setter. If anything should happen, I want you to take Flane and escape. Lady Rhea. You cannot mean that. Long have I protected Fodlin and the goddess Sothis' stead. It may oh, be man. time for that duty to finally come to an end. And would you accept that? Not willingly, no. In our absence, future generations are likely to repeat the foolish actions of their ancestors. And when that happens, who will be left to stop them? This land has suffered enough as it is. I will fight with all my strength and spirit. For my mother, for the future, even for humanity. What shall come to pass? Only the goddess knows. Such are her teachings. The teachings of my mother. Rhea. Oh no, she's going god mode. It's time to fight the Pope. Let's go. Reign of Ash. Have the Lesser Federation's elites sh loose countless arrows and reduce the enemy to ash. Oh my gosh. Leaders of the Federation. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, that sounds kind of neat. Let's try it. I'll do that one. Okay, so that, I guess that means we got to bring, eh, we'll just have Lawrence as an ally. All right. I will show you so we're bringing ability. Claude, of course, because we have to bring Claude. Phoebe. I like to bring Leone.
Well, we told Baron Beauty we'd bring Marianne. I think we'd pretty much just have all the golden deer here. Uh, it would be cool to bring Byleth. Oh man, too many characters. Ooh. Let's let's have Geralt, and then we'll have Byleth. I think that's fair. Okay, let's go. All right, here we go. I think this is the final level. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Now I'll pause real quick to read the chat. Ooh, what's his song? Wait, I feel like Trico would benefit from watching Bill Nye the Science Guy. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen Bill Nye in years. <laughs> I used to rent them all the time from the library. Darth Fastball 11, that episode was the greatest three-part episode, period. The classic coin in the alcohol game. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because um, me and my friend were watching Stardust Crusaders, and we kind of wanted to finish it up because we finished One Piece and we finished um, Kaguya. So, and he wasn't having a fun time watching Stars Crusaders, and honestly, neither was I. So he's like, D can we just cut the deal? And I'm like, okay, we'll cut the deal. But first, we gotta watch the best stand battle other than Dio. So I showed him the Darby episode, and yeah, oh my god, I love that stand battle so much. It's so good. Aiden, I'll go team food for your Jenny. Oh, thanks, Aiden. <laughs> Gotta go. Hope y'all have fun. See ya, Zelda. Thanks for coming out. Darth Fastball 11. Add viscosity. Also, viscosity just refers to how thick and resistant to pouring a liquid is. For example, molasses has a much higher viscosity than water. Interesting. Science is so interesting. I will strike down any fool who dares dishonor our creator. Oh man, she's this mad. It, folks. If we slay Rhea, we'll usher in a new era for Fogler. Give it all you got. Oh man. There's no need to rush. Whoa. Just keep pressing forward. Look at Mary. Our objective is to capture the strongholds on the front line. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is the trailer music. Da, 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 da. Take your lives on this battle and make the goddess proud. We will annihilate the wicked Federation army. Let's go, Daddy. This far as Sorry. Groups, I didn't foresee the bridge being down. We we'll just have to hold out until we can meet up again. I might actually put in some effort. What's it? Oh, <gasps> Mercedes! No! Don't make me kill Mercedes, We've please. Been told to return to the capital, but we're the only ones who can protect the church's people. Don't make me do it. Don't make me. I don't even really like Mercedes that much, but still, don't make me do it. Mercedes? Does that mean the kingdom's commanding those troops? Oh, man. Ah, uh, Dorte! Help! I will do what I must until the very end. Oh, I forgot Marion's a healer. Oh, shoot. Wait, Yuritsa? Wait, what? Mercedes. So this is where you've been. I will save you. Oh, that was that's a twist. Dio himself has shown up. <laughs> the enemy's morale is unusually high. Problem. I the Archbishop must have riled them up. Okay, let's see. Who can we team up with? Okay, Leone. Let's go, Leone. You and me. And then who's with Phoebe? Uh, yeah, Phoebe and Hilda, I think will be fair. Oh my gosh. Oh, what am I doing? I should probably team up with Claude. It's like the final battle after all. Oh wait, no, Claude's playable. That wouldn't even make sense. Come on, Hilda. Let's go. Okay, where's the objective? Let's uh, have you guys just all go for that, and I'll take up here. Okay. Hey there. Astra. Oh wait, no, that's Aura. Yeah. Jenny, let's go, Daddy. To the roll. I can't. I'm so. I did it unironically. I'm sorry. There we are. We'll go up. 
seize the Ravaged Battlefield. Hopefully it's none of that crap where we have to, like, replay it over again if we fail. I hope not. We gave her, like, no attacking moves. She could only heal. Man, go down. Thank you. Oh, Cyril! I mean, I guess it makes sense. Until my dying breath to protect Lady Rhea. See, look at how cool his design is. He's such a bad character, but his design is so cool. Cyril, I will remember your heroism always. Oh my gosh. We're the heroes, everyone. I must not let Claude oh. steal all the glory. I will open a path for our forces to unite. He's certainly motivated. <laughs> Can he seriously handle all that? Good luck, Lawrence. He like all bark and no bite, but he always follows through. He can do this. Oh, that's sweet. He has confidence in him. I have sustained Lester from the shadow since the days of the alliance. But now it is time to display my full strength. You sustained it? Ah, the same strength you'd hope to overthrow me with. Eh. No one's more eager to see it than I am. Oh, man. <laughs> Quad sees the central pit here. The others are fulfilling their duties to pass and can do. That only leaves me to do what I can to help. Oh, Yuritz is an ally. Interesting. Oh, shoot. Cyril's mad. Sorry, Mercedes. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. oh defeated Mercedes. Okay, cool. I did all that I could. I guess I wasn't up to the challenge after all. Mercedes, it is not worth risking your life for this fight. Oh my gosh. It was my choice to put my life on the line. But now I must fall back. Oh, okay, well, fair enough then. Please, fight alongside me for now. It is the best way to keep you safe. I did not anticipate Yurita showing up. That was it. very interesting. Oh, let's get this guy. Let's go, Leone. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, good to go. Blame me all you want. Gotcha. He he he. Okay, and then if we go down here. Oh, there's Rill. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't want to do it. Oh, help. Yeah. How do we get in there? Uh. Okay, we'll have all of them attack here, and then I'll just go with Phoebe. Oh, Cyril's here. Geez, Cyril, leave me alone, man. It's not gonna happen, you're not gonna save Lady Rhea. Oh, jeez. Okay. We got him, we got this kid. I think he's only like 14 in this one too, which makes us hurt even more. Yeah, he's dead. Die, 14 year old. Lady Rhea, I'm sorry I couldn't help. Yay, we beat Cyril! <laughs> oh man. What a great route. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, yeah, we have to go up. Trico Thief. I was dozing off and woke up when I felt drool dribbling down the side of my mouth. Oh my gosh. Oof. I've never gone that far when I sleep. I can't even remember the last time I did something like that. Huh. Oh, Phoebe. The moon. Wait, where's Flame? No need to overexert yourself, Flame. No problem. Promise me you will retreat the moment it becomes too taxing. 
Flane is totally not going to do that. Okay, let's go with Marianne. They appear to be having a difficult time. I have no choice but to intervene. Sedeth opened the gates to intercept. Okay. Defeat Sedeth. Okay. <sighs> Darn it. I may have to step away for a second again. This time it's only going to be a second. One sec. Sorry. Okay, sorry about that. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. <laughs> Hopefully. Where was where were we? Right along. Keep capturing the enemy strong. Dang, who else? Oh, Flank, duh. <laughs> Everyone with the moon. <laughs> I loathe fighting, but this is my duty. Come then! She's so sweet! No. We're not gonna kill Flane. These they're gonna retreat. I know they are. But still it doesn't hurt less. Why does the moon emoji look like that? <laughs> okay, there's Seneth. Hey there. The Squidward of Fire Emblem. Fodlin needs the Archbishop. Anyone who does not understand that must be eliminated. There we are. Let's go, Lawrence. The lead, <gasps> Wait, they have dialogue with each other? That's cool. Dorte. Horsey. Oh my gosh. You are formidable indeed. Take the lead, That's really cool they have dialogue with each other. I hope I do this right. Dorte! Be with the gun. Oh man. Now let's get flame. Well, Flane's coming with you, don't worry. Got her too. Take a breather. Okay, where are we going? Their reckless violence defiles the gods. There is no salvation for them. No problem, I got it. Guardians of the holy tomb, come forth. Bring down the hammer of judgment upon these sacrilegious rebels. The what now? That sounds intense. Oh, those things, huh? Phantom soldiers appear from the devices. Oh, okay. Huh. Oh, come on, come on. Get him, get him, get him. Get the Grimori. Gotcha. Okay, let's have... Uh... Where are those? Well, I guess we could have Marianne. Let's see how this goes. Go down there. Okay, I think we sh should be good up here, for the most part. Okay, any yellows up here? I am afraid. I have exhausted myself. I should withdraw. All right, let's go, everyone. Let's go get that thing over there. Oh, that's where the yellow is. Gotcha. Okay. That looks like a device over there. We've got to capture the stronghold and stop it. The Federation army has us on the back foot. Do we have any hope of winning this? Not really, bro. Seem lost without their frontline commanders. 
Those enemies on the front Here we go. Were strong. We were strong. We took them all out. Thanks, Leonie. The fighter out of spite. Blame me all you want. <laughs> Did we get this point? Protection. Full remaining forces are hardly enough to hold them off. Once you take the stronghold, you need to disable that device. I don't know how, but I'm sure you'll figure something out. Okay, we'll have... Okay, yeah, I know, I know. We'll have Byleth disable it. Initiating the operation. Yeah, go disable it. I'm too lazy. Okay. Let's beat this guy real quick. There we go, and then we'll move over. There we are. Thanks, Marianne. Some phantom soldiers vanish. Okay, cool. Nice. Alright, let's do this one. Oh, no, come on, I got it. I'm like right there. Pilot used to sable. <laughs> Operate. Sorry, Ray, it's not gonna go so well for you today. All the strange soldiers are gone. The old castle gates and rocky. Us, huh. and the central church collapses. Many people will lose their spiritual foundation. That would be terrible. I will fight alongside you, my brother. Here we go. Let's go, Hilda. Come on, follow me. Boom! The moon. <laughs> Wants us a giant moon emoji to appear. Goddess, infuse me with your divine strength. Oh, is she going full dragon? Oh, I don't know. I like her armor though. Ray is attacking with forgotten white magic, but she remembered. But a. Uh, uh, where could magic of this magnitude be coming from? Are we witnessing the Archbishop's power? We forgot about it. Here we go, everyone. Don't let the enemy push us back. Regroup with the Federation Army. Sweet. Sorry, Seda. Our forces have reunited thanks to the strength of my efforts. Truly, oh my god. This is not the time for it. But if you want the job so badly, I'll happily let you take over later. Wait, what? That must be the Just casually, I'll let you have it later. We have our divine protection, so charge forth without fear. My turn. Let's go. Oh, what? That magic is the goddess's protection? And their faith has blinded them. Oh, jeez. It's very scary seeing all these character moments. Oh my gosh. Defeat the church soldier and their allies. Oh, there's flight. Gotcha. Zawardo! Forgive me, Raya. There is no turning back. I will defeat you here and now. You're not gonna defeat us, Flayne, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny, with the moon emoji. Don't kill her. Whoa. Yay. Lady Rhea, I am sorry. I I can no longer. I feel like I've done a good thing today. We must retreat. I cannot allow flame to perish. May fortune smile upon you, Lady Rhea. That's not way too cheerful for what's happening. Hey, good luck, Rhea. We're out of here. I will settle this on my own. Aura. Oh, man. There she is. The woman of the hour. The point of the game kill. This is our final opportunity to pass judgment on the enemy. If you can yet move, follow me. Defeat Rhea. Okay, here we go. Let's go, everyone.
I guess we'll bring Phoebe with us. Actually, I guess we should bring everyone with us, right? Probably. What? Hello, Rhea. You look so much like oh man. That For a true, why would you fight me? You act as if we've met. <laughs> so, you've chosen to side with Abelgar. I'm disappointed in you, Claw. No hard feelings, Rhea. I'm just determined to see what the world would be like without you. Oh my gosh, Claude, Lord have mercy. Presence. Yes, I knew that one day you would turn your blade on me. Don't get the wrong idea. Oh. My powers have nothing to do with this. I'm standing here of my own free will. Oh man. On the goddess's name. You will all face judgment. Oh man. Looks like we're finally getting to the good part. You okay to keep going? Oh, I am. Just playing a spy list the whole time. After we win this battle, you're gonna show me the new world you're creating. This is not over. I must carry on for the sake of my mother's fallen comrades. Who and where? <gasps> is it happening? Oh, it's time to finish this, Rhea. Are you sure you don't want to just walk away? It's not too late. I don't think I we're gonna let her. I do go looking for this fight, but you will not see me run from it. You have spilled much blood during this war the Empire started. Oh my gosh. I'm not here to talk about who started this war. I'm gonna end this. That's what's important now. This world cries out for change, while you keep it shackled to the past. And it's up to us to help set it free. I'm ready if you are. For all oh. of Fodlin. Oh, we're going for it. So be it. I will crush you where you stand. Oh, yep. The the immaculate one. Okay, here we go. Here well, we go. Me really the immaculate one? Wait, you didn't know that? You know what to do. Let's go, Gerald. Whatever she is, we have to end her. Now quit staring before she crushes you. Quit staring. Oh my gosh. Alright. Let's get her. I would say sorry, Rhea, but to be fair, I actually don't really like you, even though I'm usually on your side. <laughs> Let's go, Leone. Aiden, where's Corin? In a completely different universe, actually. I'm sure you'll see Corrin and Fire Emblem engage. Oh man. Okay, and then he's gonna blow us, blow us back. Boom, boom, boom. Oh man. Can you not mention how hungry you are at the literal all our efforts will be rewarded if we win, right? The literal final dragon boss. Oh jeez. Great. Oh to mercy. Ah! Take a breather. Oh jeez, everyone just got blown back. That would suck if someone died last minute. In history as a hero of Fodland. Can you stop bringing yourself up? With our fair share of surprises, we're finally here. Our king is really something else. Uh. Oh, man. Oh, taking all that damage. Can we get... Can we do it? Yes, we can. Okay, sweet. Aiden, no. Oh, I'm sorry, Aiden. I do also like Corrin. Even though a lot of people hate her. <laughs> if there is any way I can help change Lester and Fodlin for the better, I will. We'll do it together. 
the moon. Let's give her another moon. The moon. Well, at least you're sure? I don't know. This is a pretty big step. Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. Get out of there, Phoebe. Oh, jeez. Oh, Phoebe did go Super Saiyan. Oh, oh, okay, that was kind of cool, actually. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's awkward. Hopefully that wasn't our forces. Your reign comes to an end here and now. Oh man. Uh, I guess we do have Arvel power still. That's Our awkward. Work here isn't over, not by a long shot. Got plenty of road ahead, but we've taken the first step together. Hmm. It is now eleven oh, man. three. Blue Sea Moon. The Federation has joined with the Empire to invade the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Oh man. Claude sought not to conquer the kingdom, but to destroy the central church. After Archbishop Rea's defeat, the church has lost much of its martial prowess. Hmm. Tensions continue between the empire and kingdom. Having now reached his goal, Claude proposes an end to the war. Yet it remains uncertain if either side will accept. It's too much bad blood. I don't think they will. Very awkwardly paced out, th that little part. Oh, man. Par Parthia? What is that? It's like a bow? That's kind of cool. Oh man. This game sucks, no corn. Sorry, Aiden. <laughs> we'll have to just play the other Fire Emblem Warriors game to have a game with corn in it, because she's in that one, so. I think my friend has. I think. Crispy has that one. I could probably just borrow it. Parthia, bow infused with fiery power. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Huh. I've never seen that before. I wonder if it's in three houses. <laughs> Chase William. Piccolo. Moon! <laughs> I understood that reference. Yeah, jeez, yeah, that was the end. Phoebe, 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 the MVP of all these battles. Phoebe. Gatekeeper was one. Claude, Marianne, Phoebe, Claude... Leone, Leone, Claude, Geralt, huh, Phoebe, Claude, Claude was? Interesting. I guess we did use Claude a fair bit. Phoebe achieved victory and has received a letter from Marianne. Oh man, here we go. It gladdens me beyond words to see your accomplishments in this war and to know you made it through unscathed. History will judge whether or not our actions were right, but no matter the case, You've given me the courage to face the future anew. Thank you for everything. And please stay in touch. Oh, man. Someone about the, like, final letter gets me. Because that's going to be the last time we ever, like, hear from the Three Houses Universe characters, you know? Oh, man. Yeah, geez. So that was, that was Three Hopes. Whew. <laughs> yeah, geez. Um, yeah, so the ending... I, I, the major criticism with Three Hopes is that the endings feel a bit rushed and just kind of like breezed over a little bit. 
And I definitely got that with, uh, with this ending as well. It's definitely not as definitive as Three Houses ending, and I still recommend if you want to dive into this universe, you, uh, you do Three Houses instead. Uh, I think Three Hopes is a good complimentary piece, but I don't think it could be the only piece you try, you know. Uh, bummer ending. Yeah, kinda, yeah. I can see why people were very frustrated with this route, yeah, because Claude has a very good definitive, wholesome, well, not wholesome, but just good feeling ending in the original. In this one, it's very much just like, kill everyone. <laughs> GG, Rhea. But yeah. Yeah, that was, that was fun though. Thanks guys for going through three hopes with me. I'm definitely glad we were able to do this. It was a, it was a good time. Of the three routes, I, I don't know which one's my favorite. I kind of want to just go with Dimitri's. I feel like his has kind of like the least bummer stuff in it really it's kind of an easier route though it's not as definitive I, mean, I don't know it's hard to critique i don't know i definitely would want there to be like a dlc of some sort that could flesh out the ending a little bit more because it does end abruptly and all three of them are just kind of like yeah the war just rages on it's like what it's, the war doesn't even end <laughs> in three houses the war ended i don't know but yeah, it's very good. I really like Three Hopes, and I like it as a complimentary piece to Three Houses. I'm glad we were able to get it. Yes, very good. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, af so after Three Hopes, let's see. It's, uh, yeah, it's mid-September. I don't know what we're going to start streaming now. I would love to spend a bit with Splatoon. I don't know if that's going to be main channel, though. Uh, could return to Emerald soon, could go back to Friday Emblem, but if we go back to fr the other Friday Emblem again, Radiant Dawn, it's just gonna stop anyway, because Scarlet Violet will probably come out, as well as Twilight Princess, so. <laughs> Whoa. English voice casting was done by Patrick Seitz. Interesting, I didn't know he casted this, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, if you get a Ferdinand's letter at the end of the game, it hits hard, man. Yeah, with Billy Kometz, oof. Leone's voice actress is Ratana. That's her name? Huh. Holst by Sungwon Cho. <laughs> Good old pro ZD. I wonder if there's any other names I recognize. Todd Hapricorn. It's really weird Todd Hapricorn was just one very small role in this game. Very weird. In POV. This one was pretty good, but that one was kind of lame, but that one was like that. Sorry, sorry. I know it's confusing. Yeah. Sorry about that. Darth Fastball 11. Are you going to play anything else like today? Unfortunately, not today, because I do have to uh, go do stuff. Unfortunately, like move the house and go to work. So, unfortunately, not, but I'm glad we were able to wrap up Friday Emblem. I'm really happy we were able to do that because uh, I didn't want to just like skip another week, especially when we were right at the end. So, yeah. These credits are very beautiful, though. I really like them. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just trying to find stuff to talk about now. It's crazy to think this game came out three months ago? Yeah, geez. Because I, I guess we have been on Golden Wildfire for, like, more than ten weeks. Because we skipped uh, Friday Emblem a couple times. I don't know how many times we skipped, but maybe it has to be, like, 15 weeks? I don't know. I tried to remain consistent, but there were definitely times where I had to skip, like, last week, so... But with that, I have beaten all three routes of Three Hopes, so that's really cool. So now we're going to have uh, Claude's Fail Not on the menu screen. Producer Yosuke Hayashi. Oh man, thank you Intelligent Systems. Thanks for giving us a f good Fire Emblem experience. Before Fire Emblem Gage. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just very disappointed by that by that new entry. Are you going to be streaming at all this weekend? Yes, I will be streaming Animal Crossing tomorrow, most likely. So, do not worry. Do not worry. <laughs> new crest items have been added. Oh, cool. Sweet. Yeah. I don't think I'm done with this game quite yet, though. I do want to, like, complete it and, like, get all the conversations and stuff. 
Yeah, we should see fail not on the main menu now. Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. That is cool. Yeah, because when you beat the game, the hero's weapons are added. So, like, there's Edelgard's axe, there's Dimitri's lance, uh, Byleth's sword is there, because you can kill Byleth, but I didn't do it. Uh, and then Claude's bow is back there. That's really cool. Yeah, look at them. They all got their little sprites there now. <laughs> Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for dropping in. I hope you guys have enjoyed Three Hopes. I've certainly enjoyed it. Uh, there's, there's a bit wrong with it, but it was a great experience. And, uh, yeah, Three Houses is a great universe to explore, so glad it came out. Alrighty, guys, I shall catch you all hopefully tomorrow for some Animal Crossing New Horizons. See you then. Bye-bye.